The first thing you need to understand when modeling with T-splines is the concept of control points. T-spline surfaces, just like NURBS surfaces and curves, are defined by control points. When modeling with NURBS surfaces, which are the main type of surfaces used in Rhino, most of the time you don't use the control points or might not even know they are there. But 90% of modeling in T-splines is comprised of moving control points, so it's very important to understand the basics of how they define the shape of your model. Let's make some curves. Here we have some 2D spline curves, the basic element for smooth surface modeling. We usually construct the curves by placing control points. More detailed curves need more control points to define them. Each control point position defines the shape of the nearby parts of the curve. You can change the shape of that area by moving the control point. Any simple or complex curve can be described with control points, but you always want to have clean curves, meaning curves that only have the necessary control points to describe the shape. Control points that are closer together usually mean tighter transitions on the curvature. Fewer control points usually means looser transitions. All the control points connected together make the control cage. All curves and surfaces have a control cage that defines the shape. Notice that the end control points touch the curve and the interior control points do not lie on the curve. Practicing making curves this way can be really useful to help you understand and internalize how control points define the curvature. Give it a try! Control points affect surfaces just like they affect curves. The only difference is that to describe a surface, you need a grid of control points. The shape of T-spline surfaces is also determined by control points, and most of the modeling in T-splines involves manipulation of control points in one way or another. In order to make this manipulation faster and easier, T-spline surfaces can be displayed as a smooth surface, we call smooth mode, or as the respective control cage, which we call box mode. This is really useful because you can model a very smooth surface just by making the control cage, which can be an easier way of doing it. In summary, control points define the shape of curves and surfaces. Each control point has an influence on a local area. Tighter control points mean tighter curvature transitions. Fewer control points mean smoother surfaces. Practice making simple surfaces and tweaking the control points to get different shapes.